show you all how to root one of my favorite brands of tablets, the iRulu, and they have a new brand out called the Kid Pad Y1. And here is the picture of it. I've got it hooked up to my computer right now so it limits my range. But this is what we're going to be working with to root and why I root a baby pet. Because even though it's a baby pet, it's still a decent tablet for an adult. And I just wanted to let y'all know what adults could do with this tablet. So there'll be a lot of mistakes, but there'll be a lot of fun, and I'll take you through rooting our really product. All right, the one thing I always make sure of is when I'm getting ready to root a tablet, I make a folder and I put all the stuff I might need into that one folder. That way it's easy for you to find and be organized while you're doing this. One thing that's very important is to download Android SDK standalone platform put it into your folder. Also, one thing you really need to remember is to disable uh, like your Nortons, any firewall protection, and antivirus protection until we get done with this. Also, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and get the latest SDK toolkit, the support library, and have that on hand as well. Cause it gives you some stuff in there that's useful and will not hurt nothing at all. I'm going to download the Android SDK and on the page it's got Eclipse in with it. So that's the one I'm going to download. And you just have to be familiar with what version of Windows you run. But it's download Android Eclipse ADT with the Android SDK for Windows is what you're looking at. Now when you're installing the Android SDK Manager, make sure under Extras you check Google USB Driver. That really is important for getting it rooted. And then you just install all the packages that's in there. So you select them, accept, and install. We're going to download Kingo and see if we can, right out of the box, basically root with Kingo. I do not think it will work, but I'm going to give it a shot before I do the more complicated things. Okay, we're going to install it. First, you install it to the computer. Make sure your tablet has USB debugging mode on and is plugged in to your computer. So far, it's not recognizing it. This is the problem you normally have with rooting a Chinese tablet. You have to be able to get the USB drivers to make anything work. And normally, a Kingo is easy to do on most other tablets, but I really use a Chinese tablet, and it's not that easy. So we're going to move on to some troubleshooting things and work from there.
it's also real important to use the right kind of cord. For me, I've only had luck using white cords. On the black cords, for some reason, they will not work. Now that Kingo does not work, we're going to start installing drivers one by one until we get this rooted. First thing I'm going to do is install ADB Exec. I'm going to open the SDK Manager Exec. Alright, my copy of that was corrupt, so now we're going to try to get the ADB drivers from somewhere else. And that would be PDA Net, ADB Auto Driver for Windows. Okay, you choose 64 or 32, then you extract it. You run it, go through, hit next. Alright, one of the next things we're going to do, we're going to install Phoenix Suit Packet and hopefully get some drivers onto here because that's what we're missing. Alright, I have Phoenix Suit. It's in Chinese. Basically, you just go through and follow the highlighted. Even though you cannot read it, it does not matter. Say yes. All right, while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to try V root and see how it does. It's one of those that's also supposed to be a uh, one step easy way to root. I have used this program before and it actually is really good, especially for Chinese tablets. And it's made by a very reputable design team there, so it does make a difference. Okay, this is in Chinese, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Now we're going to root, and 
then it says we are rooted. So what we will do is we will check it by downloading programs. We're going to check and see if we are actually rooted. No. Even though it said on the program we was, we still do not have proper root check. So we need to download some programs to test. One of the main programs that I download is Super SU Root Management Tool. Well, this is not exactly a good sign to see it anytime on your tablet. So we got to fix it. Alright, so far what we've had to do is a workaround to get the Phoenix driver and Style Exec to put the Google USB drivers onto where we needed to go. So that is what I did. Um, I found a web page that described it a little bit better because my normal stuff I usually use did not work. So we went to slatedroid.com, correct installation of Phoenix Suite and Driver in Windows 8. And it did install, so now we'll see where it goes from there. One thing you will notice, a lot of times you get false positive root messages saying you are rooted when you're not. What you always have to do is go to the Play Store and get a root checker. And then try to install a program that uses root to run. That is the only way to really verify you have root. Um, so we're trying to go through and get a legitimate root verification. And we'll see what it takes to get that done. Again, it says root succeeded. Please reboot your device to make it more stable. So we're going to reboot the device. I did not do a full re reboot. Power off. Yeah. You want to power it totally off. Restart it. Okay, it is rebooting. We're going to go to the adult side. It's the app. To get over to the adult side, run a root checker again. Verify root. Congratulations, this device has root access. 